Friday, August the 15th, and happy high pressure is moving into southern Ontario for Saturday. If you're heading to the Canadian National Exhibition, great weather on the way. As for Newfoundland, dealing with that intense low pressure system really has moved out, but it brought some heavy amounts of rain, and we did have a rainfall warning in place. And while we're seeing seasonal or below seasonal temperatures in the east, we are seeing hot weather in the west and potential thunderstorms on the way as we head into Saturday, especially in around the Alberta foothills. Hello, I'm Natalie. Thomas here with Sangita Patel and Sangita we're talking a lot about these hot temperatures in the yeah. west and the potential for a heat wave yeah it's it's just gorgeous for British Columbia Alberta and uh, when we talk about warm temperatures uh, heat waves as you talked about um, is three consecutive days of temperatures above 32 degrees that's right and uh, just to throw numbers out there Lytton 39 degrees for Thursday that gives you an idea. Kamloops, 36 degrees. Osuyus at 35 degrees. So very, very warm in the interior. That's right. Some of these areas, all the cities that you just mentioned, are in contention to be in a heat wave for this weekend as temperatures are going to stay warm right through the weekend and then start to cool as we head into next week. Now also, Sangita mentioned off the top, a lot of rainfall in around Newfoundland. Take a look at this video from Placentia. You just keep in mind the rain started yesterday. It was heavy at times and continued right through the morning. Yeah, we did have a rainfall warning in place and uh, expected about 50 plus millimeters and really eastern Newfoundland did get between 40 to 50 millimeters and Natalie you have some numbers that's right, yeah. At the St. John's Airport, they reported 42 millimeters of rain. Leading the way, though, was Bonavista, 64.2 millimeters of rain. And not just rain, but windy as well. They reported a peak wind gust of 101 kilometers per hour. But, Sangeet, I know you were taking a look at the radar, and that system is long gone. Yeah, that's the good news. A little bit of a break. It's going to be pretty calm overall for Saturday for Newfoundland. So that's the good, good news. Now, talking about the West, there's not much to say about precipitation in the evening overnight period. But tomorrow we could see some active weather developing for the lee side of the Rockies and also developing of a new low pressure system to the north affecting the northern prairies. But as for now, just beautiful, high pressure in place. Temperatures are really in the mid 30s, so looking very nice. Um, as for southern Ontario, dealing with this trough that's in place, and because of that trough, we're still seeing some instability. So pop up thunderstorms are uh, a potential really from southwestern Ontario into eastern Ontario. Uh, pretty nice for the Maritimes clearing out. We could see some development around New Brunswick because of that upper level low, and uh, really that low pressure system is moving out. So southern Ontario, that's where we're seeing some active weather. Now, most of the areas we are seeing more showers than anything else. We could see some embedded thunderstorms to develop really in the areas around Etobicoke and that's starting to move towards the southeast. So Toronto could see some thunderstorms developing overall and uh, we've also seen some lightning developing around Brampton. But again, it's really steady rain. We're getting to the north and around eastern Ontario. So things are settling down for us. And so that's the good news overall. And really just clusters were developing earlier of thunderstorms um, in areas Areas around Brantford and also affecting Hamilton but overall it's looking pretty nice just again we're just seeing showers as of now eastern Ontario same story we're just seeing showers as of now we're not seeing any of the cells developing into severe limits so we're not seeing heavy downpours right now but if you do see some active weather definitely give us a call on our storm line now it could get active for southern Quebec. Uh, Montreal could see some nocturnal thunderstorms to develop and also for Quebec City. For southern Ontario, well, there's that trough that's in place for the evening. Again, it's settling down for us and the overnight it should calm down. Uh, still dealing with some north uh, westerly winds. The high pressure will start moving in for the overnight period. It's going to turn out to be very nice on Saturday. So our temperatures are still slightly cool, but that's okay. We're not dealing with some showers. 20% chance for Toronto to see any showers in the afternoon. So if you have any plans to head out, Saturday is the day to do that. But uh, by Sunday, we could see some showers developing. To the north, we're dealing with the cold front from Wawa, Timmins, all the way to northern um, uh, Quebec. And that's really going to slice towards southeast into eastern Ontario and southern Quebec.